Honestly, would this be a readathon TBR on this channel if I did not cheat in some way? No, it wouldn't. Sorry, not sorry. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with my Cramathon TBR for this round in 2020. If you are new to booktube, maybe you haven't heard of Cramathon, but it is a readathon that myself and Julia from Julia Sapphire usually host with Dylan from Dylan is Reading and Allie from Hardback Hoarder, but they both needed to step back from Cramathon this year, so we have two new exciting guest hosts this time around. The first is Jesse from Bowtie and books. I absolutely love them. They are so much fun and I love their videos. And the second guest host is Zoe from Zoe's All Booked, my booktube mother. I love her with my whole entire heart. So Julia and I are so so excited to welcome them to the Cramathon family. This year's Cramathon is going to be taking place from December 20th to January 2nd. We're giving this time period because we know that a lot of you like to celebrate the holidays with their families so we want to give a couple extra days for family time and for you to just you know spend time with them instead of focusing solely on reading so. We also have a Twitter at Cramathon if you want to go follow that. All the hosts are going to be running sprints during the Cramathon as always so head on over there give it a follow so that you can read with us we also have challenges as always for the readathon. This year we decided to have a little fun and have eight challenges instead of the usual seven. The whole idea of Cramathon is, of course, to cram as many books as possible at the end of the year in order to beat the, your Goodreads goal. So the seven challenges are just a fun way to spruce that up. But like I said, there are going to be eight challenges. So if you complete seven of the eight challenges, the eighth one, whichever one you did not complete, counts as a bonus challenge and it basically means that you are the ultimate cramathoner and we are so so proud of you so pick whatever seven you want the eighth is just for fun but without further ado let us get started so the first challenge is to read a holiday themed book and i chose like the epitome of holiday books because i still have not read it it is my true love gave to me this is a holiday anthology it has been on my holiday tbrs for the past like five years however long ago this came out and I never read it so this is the year it is happening I'm making it happen I don't care see I said that last year too and it didn't happen but this is the year. The next challenge is to read a family-oriented story, and I am kind of cheating on this. I don't know. Let me know if you think it's cheating, but it is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. It follows a woman named Libby who, after her 25th birthday, discovers that she is the sole heir to a mansion. She arrives at the mansion, and she discovers that there was actually a murder that took place there 25 years ago. When the police arrived to this scene, there was a 10-month-old baby discovered in the bedroom. And then in the kitchen, there were three dead bodies that seemed to be staged, and a note that stated that the four remaining children that are from the family have gone missing. And then the children arrive at the house when Libby gets there, and it's like that story. So does it count as family? I don't know. Let me know. The next challenge is to read a book featuring a disabled main character, and I am reading Wonder by RJ Palacio. I watched this movie when it first came out, and I really enjoyed it, and I have had the book on my shelf for like a thousand years, so I really do need to pick it up. It follows a boy named August who was born with a facial difference that kind of makes him feel like he can never belong at school, and it's like the story of that, so I really like the movie. Like I said, hopefully I really like the book as well. Next challenge is to read a book with a bright cover and I chose 99% Mind by Sally Thorne. I recently read The Hating Game and fell in love with it, 5 out of 5 stars. A lot of people do say that this book is nowhere near as good as The Hating Game. I'm hoping that I am not one of those people who think that way, but I guess we'll see. This is like a brother, best friend's romance, which I am very intrigued by because I'm like kind of living that in my life. My boyfriend is my brother's ex-best friend's little brother, so like does it count? I'm counting it. 
The next challenge is to read the shortest book on your TBR. Of course, we include this challenge every single year, so it shouldn't come to a surprise, but I chose a graphic novel because I am far too lazy to actually look through my shelves and find the shortest book on my shelf. But I feel like this counts because, like, look at it, it's very short, but it is One Year of Ellesmere by Faith Erin Hicks. This author illustrated or wrote the Pumpkinheads graphic novel with Rainbow Rowell, and I never read that, but a lot of people liked it, so... I am intrigued and like I said it is very very short there's like barely any writing on the panels so I feel like I can get through it pretty quickly and then I'm also counting this for the challenge of read a book in one sitting because I'm assuming like this is going to be one sitting I guess we'll see when the readathon actually comes around but this is that book as well which I forgot to mention you are able to double up your books if you want to literally the chillest readathon ever do whatever you want next challenge is to read a book that was gifted to you and again I am kind of cheating on this one because I technically won this off of a giveaway but I'm counting it as a gift and it is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass. I got this from a giveaway from Brittany. She doesn't make videos anymore so I can't even link her channel but she's great. I love her. We're friends on Facebook. So I still know that she's alive and doing well. So, but I read Throne of Glass earlier this year and never continued on with the series so this is my perfect excuse to actually do it. And then the final challenge is to finish the book that you are currently reading. At the time that I'm filming this video, the book that I'm currently reading is The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Daniel Page, although by the time the readathon starts, I definitely will have finished this book. So the book will change when the readathon actually comes around, but for the sake of this video, this is my answer to that one. Alright everybody, so that was my Cramathon TBR for 2020. It is taking place December 20th to January 2nd. We really, really hope that you decide to join us for this readathon. Julia and I are so excited to welcome Zoe and Jesse to the Cramathon family. Let me know down below if you plan on participating and what you plan on reading, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!